Okay, now I'm gonna... Okay, now I'm gonna repair a massive audio. This brand called Nano Edge E4. Two thousand what? This is the next part for it. Okay. All right. So from first, I see bad cap, and yeah, this may burn here. So let's see now. Get out my trusty flu eighty-seven. See what's going on here. Okay, bad MOSFET here. All right, these MOSFET. Right, see what number this. This is IRF. IRF ten eighteen. I don't have these exact MOSFET, but the ten ten should work. I take a look at the. data for it earlier so let's go ahead and remove this See if you guys can see. IRF ten eighteen. So I'm gonna substitute it with the ten ten. Check the other bank and see what happened over here. Anything run into you know. Okay, this should be like this here. The worst thing to do is just change all uh, six bots. But now I'm gonna change only. It is a fancy next on one side, so. <sighs> no, I'm gonna change all of them. Doesn't make sense leaving these if I'm gonna substitute it with the 10 tens. Alright, so let's get these out as well. Ok, 
Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna use the 1010 instead of the 1018. So back here, you know, I have some burn resistor that I'm gonna have to replace. And these, I guess, is not sure yet. I'm gonna test them, but I guess these are 47 ohms, or maybe 10 or 22 or even 33 ohms. Let me see. Let's see. This side, yeah, okay, 47 ohms. And yeah, they work or well, they burn, so I'm gonna just replace them. 47 ohms SMD resistors. to the trash I found some part of Finally, 5 to 7 ohms resistor right here, coming up three of them. So these one are a little bit bigger than the original one that was inside. <laughs> uh, this, as you can see them, a little tiny 5 to 7 ohms. Resistor. Hey guys, I don't do a lot of talking, I don't know, it's my first time doing this, so please bear with me, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, for the seven homes resistor, they're inside. So now, get my 10 tenths and see. Most questions the 1010 IRF 1010 1010 E IRF alright 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 I'm coming guys I'm coming I have them here but man, I have too much points these things are right here damn man look at this it's got all this thing is stuck I'm looking all over the place. I'm gonna use the same batch if I find the same six and eight six of them. So I'm gonna fix. You see six. Of the same batch. I have like three different batches, but I have ten ten. So this amplifier was going into protect. Yep. Okay. For that side. Okay, okay, okay. And please guys, if the board is double, is that double? A double layer circuit board remember to solder back and front of the muscle chances that we install them yep yeah didn't do that in the iphonix one time i was working on the iphonix and that thing man it was a headache to figure out what was wrong I 
All right. So, that will put a little solder. Then from the top, then I go around, finish, up, finish everything off on the bottom. So that should be that. Hey, and Sarayan is getting, I don't understand. Okay, it's really cool now, yeah. I'm trying that, so. Hey. Crazy. I guess I'm gonna have to plug in my. So now I'm gonna have to find this swollen cup right here. It's a 250 volt 10 microfarad, and it's right between the those two wires right for the speaker output. Yeah, those normally go on these amplifiers. These amplifiers iPhone X and um, yeah, I don't remember what other amplifier try this one. It's a non-polarized capacitor. It's a non polarized cap capacitor. So, yep. See that? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Oh, where do I have this again? Well, okay, let's find one. Give me a minute, so let's see. I'll find this capacitor here. I'll replace right here. Yeah.
So I'm gonna have to salvage one from this iPhone X board. <laughs> Circuit board for now, and it's uh, okay. Say before, phone one. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. That stops. One. Okay. Come on. This. I don't like what it's out of way, bro. But, um, this is better. This is a 50 50. I was using. Type of solder where they have on the market, it doesn't blend too well with the 5050. Charging the cap. Alright. Yeah, that's on that. Okay. Hmm. Perfect. That's really what I'm looking for. That's really what I'm looking for. Yep. Perfect. 
perfect, perfect. Okay, check these output now. I hope I'm pretty nothing. None of them. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Good. Output looks reading good. Yeah. I wonder. This output supposed to be RF six forty N. Let's see. And yeah, I was right. Yeah, most popular. Put most fit in these amplifiers. Okay, now I normally change this switching. I see right here, but I'm not going to this time around. But I'm gonna try and pop the. Yes, but I'm gonna give it some a little run through test as we call it. Okay. Oh, what are these? These what are these chances here? These are what? what? Joking. These are MOSFET too. These are 1080. Oh my words. Yeah, I must replace these two. Wow. For some reason, I was wondering why. What could this be if we have the. Man. We should have known. Ten eighty, ten eighteen. I keep saying ten eighty. It's ten eighteen, guys. Ten eighteen E. IRF. Ten eighteen E. And from the music in the background, guys, you know, yeah. Jamaica, you know, Jamaica. side now <laughs> oh man I can't believe it can't believe I almost mix those together mm, that's not a good thing to do you know always use MOSFET transistors from the same batch don't mix them you're gonna have problem Um, some will eat up before some for the ohms is different I 
I know about this part of the skeleton. Boy, I tell you. Already then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nutty, oh, nutty. Hiwa, 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 hiwa. All right, six more. Man, I hope I don't run out of the same batch here. Yeah. No way is that little one running to get you. Alrighty then. <sighs> 